We are going to see the Meta Knight pick come out. This is, of course, the DDD. I believe, like, either it was either 2020 or... Actually, maybe it was both 2020 and 2019. D3 World Wars was working on a wolf, but I think since then he's given up on it. So I don't expect to see that one come back anytime soon. You have five jumps. Wait, oh wait. Huh. These are both from the Kirby series. That's not something you get to hear every day. So see, in Smash... Yeah, these S matches are probably gonna come out. They can two frame. Although with DDD, how they depends on your timing, I guess. And it's also a very what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a committable move. And like it's like what minus six on shield. It's relatively little lag. Up, he's not gonna kill DDD. What I think top five in terms of weight. And I do know that D3 Bowl has some experience in this matchup. He, he, this is actually nerve wracking if you're Saitama, because here's the thing, that move has armor. So if you try, if you try hitting it, there's a good chance that you could just get hit through it. And there we go. D3 Bowl has just been, I've played him a lot recently. He's been going for those a lot and he just does it. And it just works. Because what do you do? Land on him? No, he's going to go to you. But going to take that stock. Going to somewhat even it out. Just in terms of stock count. Should, once again, should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that move has really, uh, it's really, back here is really safe on shield. Uh oh. Yeah, trying to go for it again. Trying to set up a edge lead trap with the Gordo. Yeah, it's pairing the pairing one of the hits, and then going to go, gonna hit him with F tilt. I'm getting. See, he's gonna go above. Yeah, the up smash gonna come out, but not gonna hit him. And there we go. That time it works. If you miss one hit like right by D D, like right above any area just like where you can get hit by that move d3s can just pull that out up to up here not gonna take it that f smash just throwing it out just throw it out it just works and d3 will is playing with this lead for a little bit but once again we've seen that you can just take a lot of damage especially against a character like meta knight but if you're confident enough to be playing with this lead, then you, once again, you still have the advantage. So it's not the worst situation in the world to be in. It's near enough, near enough ferret there. Yeah, I do expect a lot of these jump up, full hop, back airs coming out. Cause there was, what thing? It's not a laggy move. And you're also light. So you're, if you're just gonna die, you're just gonna die to that Gordo there. Good, well placed Gordo. You're at a pretty, I guess, pretty bad position on the map. And when you go to town, which once again makes sense to both these characters. If you're Meta Knight in this game, Meta Knight used to, you know, have this whole thing in like Smash 4, your juggle kill off the top. In this game, it's more juggle kill off the side. And on town, you have side blast zones which are really close to the stage and if you can get those juggles off you can just you know down here into infinity down here up there into infinity let's see good di out but should be able to make it back yeah ddd does have five jumps in that up be But once again, that also goes both ways because once again, light character and D3 has a lot of kill moves off that side last zone. And once again, try. Gonna go off stage though.
Now let's see, how does... He's gonna reset back to neutral. Ah, the backer not coming out in time. Yeah, gonna reset on that side blast zone. Not side blast zone, side platform. And almost dying off the side. Great, once again, DDD Wade is really helping him out here. Back throw, gonna get the grab. Back to him off stage and mid stage. Let's see, yeah, you have, to, you have to find a way to get out of this corner pressure. Not gonna kill. DDD wait. Something, something like that. So, yeah, you should be dead. You committed to an up smash. That move is not safe. And up out of shield should take it. But now the problem is you're playing at a disadvantage with as like uh, against the Meta Knight and Meta DDD can definitely struggle with hitting the character and if you're oh the eye check going to get the eye right should be down air punish is interesting not sure if it's intentional but it did hit him it did technically punish him is it a good punish? No. But that was a good punish right there. Getting caught holding jab. And that DDD back air does do a lot of knockback. Up throw up air. 26%. Now that was a really risky landing just due to the general size of that F smash. And you're getting caught jumping right there. And any chance you had to even up that game at that moment. Completely gone. They yeah, have rolling into the F tilt. And nothing's gonna come of it though. Just gonna get some damage on the board. Let Meta Knight build some damage. Oh, gonna get also hit. Gonna hit both D3 and the Gordo, which in turn hit the Gordo into D3 will. How do you kill him right now? Yep, just gonna forward throw him. Gonna get the Gordo set up, but not gonna take it right, right now. So yeah, it's a great job jumping out of this advantage there, and that up tilt does kill. As you can see right there, yeah, D D3 is holding shield. He is nervous. Double hit of Gordo. Don't see that often. Well, often no, but. Oh yeah, you tried going in a little bit too early. And you did get hit by the S-Match, but it's not gonna take it. Yeah, bad DI. Try to, I think you try to go for a shield grab and that Nair is going to take it. So we are gonna see a game three here. I do imagine we're gonna see the same characters. Yo, why is that Tomic standing like that? Um. Let's see. Jin, looks like they are talking it out. I don't think I've ever seen Saitama because that would be like some sort of hat. Like that man is always wearing something. Let's what Stacy picked, but Meta Knight D3. Run it back. All the way. Well, character-wise, I... We're gonna see Hollow Bastion. Once again, this works out for both these characters pretty well. Control of the center plat works for both of them pretty well. And... With, for D3 in this case, is... There was less space for Saitama to run around. But that could also just be said for D3. Because D3 was avoiding Saitama pretty, pretty decently on both PS2 in town, although he was caught a lot more in town. That's going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, fall down there, back there. Gonna get... That's a decent amount of damage on the board. That side view is probably not intentional. But going for a read there, not going to get it. That killed. He was at an 88. <laughs> Don't 
don't know if, I legitimately do not know if that was just bad DI. That had to be bad DI. There was no, like, no effect for it. But no DI is going to save you there. That got both hits of Gordo into a fan for 48% off one side B. Fun. Yeah, that. That top being thrown out can keep Atomic at bay for just a little bit. But off stage, not getting anything off it. You gotta get the most off these lead traps, potential potential lead traps. But if you let these, if you let D three jump back, get back for free. You can reset neutral pretty well. Oh, getting mixed up though. That jab not gonna be able to beat out the Gordo as a second hit. Oh, I don't know what even happened there to be honest. It beat it out. D three will beat it out. But I didn't know like how that sounded. But up smash is exactly what you want to be hearing if your D3 will. That is a kill for you. And we are getting juggled off the stage right now. Saitomic is definitely in a position. He has to make the plays because you should be fine, but you're currently trailing and you don't have the projectiles. Well, granted, you know, it's, it's Gordo. So like, it's not exactly the greatest projectile, but it is a projectile that can be used to just keep Cyclone Cafe, and you read it this time. And this game could be a lot worse for Cyclone, but 57% on him, not the worst deficit, especially with how fast Meta Knight can build percent on characters like DD. But you keep jumping into these bad positions. I can see, how do you. If you're Saitama, you're just kind of wondering how, what you need to get more hits that are meaningful. Grab music, grab clash, playing, whatever. And then D3 is going to get the jab. Not, oh, you jumped back into the up here, but not up here, not active enough. Yeah, these nares are just going to be super good for D3 because they may not kill, like, I don't, they probably won't kill. With sweet spot, but they can definitely combo. Does not matter if you're jumping around too much, and that up smash is gonna snatch that, swat that fly out of the air. That's gonna be a 2 1 for D3 Will. Let's see. Stretch 17. Oh boy. We're gonna get uh probably Marth. Either Marth or Lucina versus Zero Suit. Let's see. Any upsets happen in brackets so far? Nope. But we are getting near our winners quarters finals once again smaller bracket so we're probably going to see this just go a little bit faster than usual probably we're probably going to get out before 12. you know i probably just jinxed it but it is what it is